Hi, everything you're going to need will be written below above the comments and the only clay I'm using is leather effect. Um, I'm choosing black. So what I've done is I've rolled some out ready on a number two. And I'll explain why it's this sort of a shape. I'm going to try making a bracelet and a ring. Um, you can do both or just one, but if I do the two together, then you've got the option. So I want a template, and believe me, these templates are your friend in this, because you can use them so much throughout. So I've just cut roughly the width I want, um, and I've got it so it'll go around my wrist, and I've got about an inch extra. So I've got my wrist plus an inch, yeah? So that's going to be what I'm cutting out for the bracelet. With the ring, excuse this bit of paper because I use it for other things, I'm using my thumb as the example because it's easiest. I'll take that round to the middle and on the other side I want to mark it, I'd say about 2 mil, but so it's a comfortable fit to come on and off. So that's the sort of size you're looking for. So that will be my template, this part of it, for the ring. So now I need to get them shaped up. Now this can go right first time or it can be a nightmare. Um, it's luck of the draw a lot of the time because I love leather effect clay. A lot of people give it one go and don't like it sort of thing. But I think if you don't think of it as like clay, that's why I'm just looking for my uh, cutter while I'm talking to you. If you... Um... Oh, where are you? I've got the cutters, but the only ones I've got are the soft ones. That's no good. I'll have a look in a minute. I'll just cut with this for now. If I only need a rough cut. Yeah, if you don't think of it as normal clay, you won't be disappointed. If you think of it as something different, like someone said on a tutorial the other day, look on it, it's as different to polymer as air dry is, and it is. And I think if you go in sort of respecting it for being a different material, you will enjoy it, you know. It's got its advantages, it's got its disadvantages. I love the fact that you can sort of almost pick it up and fling it around and it won't break, especially after using something like Cernit. But, um... Yeah, I really, really like it. So this is rolled out on a number two. I shouldn't really have cut all that off because I probably won't have enough for the ring now. I'll probably have to re-roll, but we'll see. So first of all, I want to roughly cut out this shape. So I'll use this one again for now. behave you could make it easy and roll it gently first and you wouldn't have this problem okay. so didn't cut right through Hang on a second so I want to try and get a jagged edge and this is where um, it will either be a friend or it won't but it's important to try and have the clay quite level when you do this and so what I'm going to do is roll this on itself and hopefully the edges both sides will um, hopefully the edges both sides will start to get a little bit crackled so let's see. Sometimes it's perfect first time. Other times I have to do it a couple of times. But it's worth it for the result, I think. There we go. That's absolutely fine. And then if I measure that against this, <laughs> it's shorter. <laughs> see if it's still long enough. I want to be able to do it at my saw. No, I think I'm going to, um, I don't know what happened there. Hang on. Okay, so I'm re-rolling it out. But I actually thought, instead of just re-rolling it out and then coming back on camera, if I re-roll it out on camera, you'll see why it can be a pain, but there are solutions. Now, one thing I find straight away because of this clay and the type of clay it is, if you get something like that, I'll take that and put it there and like, you know, anywhere like that 
if you want to add it just helps when it goes through to start to balance things out so that's one thing i'll do um i'm gonna have to roll this sideways i'm rolling it through on a number two still obviously now i'm gonna roll it that way because if you keep swapping the way it's rolling i don't know it's something to do with the fibers it seems to go into a sheet much quicker i suppose that's the way okay so now i'm gonna roll that there fold that there try and get a bit more semblance of shot i mean manipulate it back don't let it just manipulate what you want to do okay there. so now i'm going to start lengthening it so i should fold that over and this is a really good batch i mean i've been using i've been doing and um, let me just show it you quickly i've been doing a um a bracelet like this a corset bracelet um, and i was going to do a tutorial um, but that blue oh it was so hard to use this is so easy in comparison you know it the longer it's left i presume the more dry and crumbly it gets and it takes more conditioning okay now we're back where we were and now i'm going to do it properly i'm going to put that on there so i've used this bit of paper so many times lately and i have it's getting a bit grotty right now i'll do what i should have done in the first place and that I didn't let me get my uh, tissue blade while I was off camera. I forgot to do it, so I'll have to use this again. Trouble with these wide tissue blades, they don't cut straight, do they? So I'm trying to um, get a basic cut. I just hope it's not gonna it could be that it shortens and widens as I do it which I've only just thought of now so I should have left it a bit longer I mean you can do this sort of scraggy edge manually I often tidy up manually um but I don't think it looks the same I'm gonna do it again and if it does what I suspect I'm just wondering if I can lengthen it and try and be clever. Right, I want to make it a little bit longer than it is, so I'm going to add a little bit in there to see if, if it helps. Oh dear, this is going to go all wrong, isn't it? But I'm going to try it anyway. The worst that's going to happen is it'll misshapen it. Right there. It's about the right width, isn't it? I think. And I'm just going to, this halfway mark, I'm just going to add it about there and just see if that lengthens it a little bit, fingers crossed. I will have to edge it again, but at least this time it'll be long enough. Let's see what happens. Right, it's going to need a bit of manipulating. <laughs> But it is long enough, so that's good. I've got quite a bit of crack there and there, haven't I? So I'm just going to push that into itself a little bit to start. And because I'm going to be texturing it, I'm pretty you know, confident it'll be fine. But I'm going to turn it over and just also manipulate the back as well where it's fragile. One side's done a lot more than the other, as you can see. That's probably something to do with that piece that I put in. But um, we'll match it up. Because I shall take some off of here. to do quite a bit here by the time it's all been um, textured and everything it'll be a lot easier to tidy it up I'm just trying to get a width more than anything I will just dig a few bits in there to get something going right 
I'm not going to do the length yet till I've done the texture in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right, so to texture it, I'm going to use, I've just got like a sort of a cobbly crackle thing, and I'm just going to grab the acrylic block just to try and make sure it's all even. And I'm pushing the sides as well as the top to try and just get that slightly rounded edge. Gonna have to go over that in the middle, it's left a mark. That's roughly okay. So let me just. Oh no, I can't have lost the blimmin' wrist thing. There it is. I just want to check the width now. I've got a rough idea. In fact, I, I'm going to cut it to length now just so I'm aware of what's on the edge pieces because I, w I do want to uh, make sure I can work on those ends so they're good. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Right, all I've got here is um, one of these sort of texture sheets and I'm just going to use bits of it where I want to, you know, as I want to. So I'm going to be pushing, pushing that. Actually, I'll use the end of the roller because then I can be more precise. I'm gonna, there's three there, so I'm just going to press on that. Press on that, press on that. I might as well include those few flowers. So I've just created my own little picture, really. Um, what should I do there? Come on, woman, decide. Just filling in the little gaps so there's more more texture rather than less. I'm just pressing on the tiny little flower so um get a little butterfly in there. I think I'm happy with that. Just checking there's no I'm gonna do a texture right where that crack is. So I kind of want those cracks in a minute when we curl it, but at the moment I want it to start to stay secure. So there's another one there. I'm just going to press that there. Hopefully that will keep it all fine. And I'm going to do exactly the same now for the ring. Um, I'm going to roll it through on a number two and cut the ring out to size and do the pattern again. So I should, won't put you through all that, so I should be back when I've done it. Okay, so now I'm just going to round these edges off. I've done the ring, but for this one, uh, I'm going to need a bigger cutter than that. See that one? Yeah, that's probably about right. So I'm just giving it a roundedness at each end by just pushing it down at an angle so it just cuts one side. And then I'm still going to manipulate it, but at least it's... So I've got a basic shape. I'm going to manipulate it less. It's going to be more subtle, but I think two suddenly smooth edges would look a bit weird. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna dig into it and sort of manipulate it the same way as we did the rest. I say we, because in my head, what's that opposite mean? You're doing it as well. Oh dear. a little bit more realistic I want it to be solid as well I don't want it to be um, sort of clumpy I, think I could add something there though um, little bubbles somewhere they look quite nice yeah all right same at the other end sorry if you can't see it very well but I'm doing exactly the same Right, that'll do for now. I think just want to see if any bits need to come away here. It goes up a bit in there, but all I can do is balance that out right along. So it's going up a bit in more than one place. Right, I think that's going to do. That there needs a bit of tidying up, it's a bit square. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I've got a tickety cough coming. <coughs> okay, so after my coughing fit, I took advantage, found my cutter, and I've just got grabbed some micas. Um, it's going to be gold and black, but I do want to add a little bit of colour in, just some subtle bits. So, I don't know what to use. Should I use a brush? Because it tends to blow everywhere, doesn't it? I need a hard brush. This one's... Oh, it needs a clean. Surprise, surprise. I'll do. <coughs> right, so I'm just going to add a little bit of colour to the. I don't think I'll colour all of them. I think I'll sort of highlight them because I don't want the colour to take over. There we go, it's all ready for me. Um, so I'll use a bit there. Uh, try and use it in the same places on the butterflies if you know what I mean so it's blatantly their wings do a few of those little purple things do a little pink flower so yeah just whatever you think you want to do um, let's try and use up a little bit more of this, I think. Oh, has the microphone unpopped again? Me and this microphone are never going to get along. Just pushed his lap. I don't know whether to just add purple or whether to just throw in a tiny bit of turquoise. So I thought I'll see what it looks like and then maybe go for that.
in a minute. Might come back to it. Um, <coughs> 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 a tiny, <coughs> tiny little bit of this ultra fine <coughs> glitter. In a few spots. Try not to talk. Isn't it quiet? That lightest lilac almost looks silver and it's making me wonder if it's going to knock off the gold because gold would have been fine without that so I'm actually going to go over that lightest one because I do want to use gold. few little pops of this purple, a few more banks, there's not that many banks. green or do I leave it purple? Um, then you've got to think gold. I don't know if I'm pushing it, adding the green. Oh wow, I like to push it. Alright. Since I'm really subtle with it, I think it will be fine. Just trying to find a place to put it. Yeah, that's okay if, as long as I keep it subtle. Be mindful that this is the front, the bit that you're going to be looking at on the back of your wrist, so. Trying to incorporate a bit of. What should I do? Hmm. Sometimes it's like I've lost control of my hand, and even though I'm thinking, no, 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 don't do that, my hand just does it anyway. It's terrible. 
Sometimes it can go really wrong. Right. Okay. Wonder whether to change from gold to copper. Oh, I think I already know the answer to that one. Look. Okay. So I'm going to get my copper mica powder just to gently go over the top. I'm going to see if I can just without squashing it just really gently burnish because it might just set some of those little pieces that will otherwise fly off and I should have done it but I didn't do it at the same time should have done the, the ring but I'm going to do identical with the ring um, so yes I definitely think it needed to be And I am glad I added the sort of acre colour. I think it's set it but not <laughs> taken over. I've gone through this copper so quickly. Nothing else I've gone through like this. I do love using copper though. It, I think it can be so pretty against things. Right, I'm just edging this. Can, I'll re-edge it again, but I'm just, just sort of getting there. Try and get this done this side first. Okay, so I'm going to finish this off and I'm going to do exactly the same with the ring and then I'll be back with the next stage. Right, okay, so I've done them both and I just want to round the corners here of this ring because the two edges are the front, so you need to be kind of mindful that that's what you'll be looking at. So I think that's about right and I just need to get this thing that I had in the hand all the time if you ever look for your glasses well they're wearing them on they're on your head guilty okay um I'm just gonna do what do this do I can't do three I don't it's enough room one two three I don't want it to break so I'm gonna just do one I haven't done it with one before this is new but I'm gonna see how it goes I could be coming back saying, you know, the ring. I'm just doing a bracelet now. Just wait and see what happens. I've just seen a bit there. It doesn't look like it's covered properly. There we go. Right. So for the ring, um, I just used, I bought a load of bamboo sticks. Um, as you can see, this one's well used. And they're all, the measurements are all on them. I got them on Amazon, but they're really good. Um, this is an 8 mil. So what I do is I just get, some paper that I thought I'd cut and hadn't. Oh, surprise, surprise. Let me just rip some. I'll get some paper and put it on here. Um, actually, have I got a bigger one? No, I haven't. I have, but I'm using it. Um, I'm going to add this to the bigger one. I've got some ready, some other things ready to go into bake, but I'm just going to have to add this to it. So, pretend you can't see two on there already. Oh, glad I saw that. And get the piece of paper I just ripped off. And I'm just going to... God, now I've done it, haven't I? Hang on. I'm just going to put it on here. Right. So I'm just going to gently sit that there what I want to do is keep it rounded but I don't want to misshape it in any way and then I'm just going to lay it down onto the tile then with the bracelet I 
I use a beer bottle. And yes, I haven't ripped the thing off, but it doesn't stick. I've used it quite a few times now. So all I'm going to do is put this around here. But the reason I want to show you is be actually, no, I'm going to do it now. I think it'd be easier. So that's starting to split there. So I need to be really careful. I'm going to manipulate that a bit. Right, what I want to do now is I just want to start bringing the edges up. Just a little bit. Just manipulate them. So that I do actually have um, sort of a lifted jagged edge. I can do it a bit more when it's on the bottle, but I just want to get it going. So I start doing that. Then when I put it back on the bottle now, hopefully I can manage it better. Right, so I'm going to put that on the bottle. Make sure they meet in the same place on the other side, so it's straight. Right, when I go around now, I'm, just, I'm literally, I'll tidy it up, I can see it's not quite straight, but I just want to show you what I do. I just literally bend in those edges a bit more. So when it comes out, it's got that nice sort of um, shape to it. Okay, and then when I'm happy with it, I'm just going to stick it into the oven. And cook it at the manufacturer's recommended temperature. Okay, so I'm going to put these in the oven and then I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so they're out of the oven. Um, this is the ring. Um, what I've done is I've just got some copper acrylic ink and I've just finger rubbed inside and the edges to tidy it up. And on the outside, I've literally just varnished just the glittery bits so it just highlights them. I hope you can see that. And I've got some craft spray that I can use for the, the whole thing but I just wanted to make sure while we were working that we wouldn't be um, smudging the, the micro off so this is a bit of an experiment I haven't done this before I, I've done a um, you know where you twist the wire some of you may know when you sort of make the rows I can't remember how to do it I was going to YouTube it forgot and I'm back here now so let's see how I can wing it so I've I've got some 28 gauge, gauge wire here and I've literally twisted it and now I'm just going to twist it again exactly the same way I twisted it the first time just so you can see so I'm just going to get it going and then I'm going to ha have it like wings and turn it halfway so you're turning them both evenly so you haven't got like a one-sided twist does that make sense Um, that's what I do I've never double twisted it before so I don't know how it'll look but basically, um, I just want it to connect the two sides of the ring and hope to do it in some sort of pretty fashion. And I debated doing it tomorrow because it's 2.18 in the morning here at the moment. But I'm a night owl, so, hey. so I'm just hoping it'll go okay. Um, just going to hold that and do it now. didn't want to do it ready because I wanted to show you what I was doing. So it's just 28 gauge copper wire. Twisted once and then retwisted again. And I didn't think to measure it to give you a measurement. But it'll be four times the length of that, which is probably about 12 to 15 inches. Okay, so let me just grab my pliers so I've got something to help me do things. Didn't want these ones, but I'll do for a minute. No, they won't. Don't be lazy. I'm just washing that end now. I'm just going to see what I can do when I put them through. So I want them both to go in from the back. So I should just give it a little bend just to get it through. And the same the other side. Now, I'm going to put that on my finger and see where I want it to. End. I know it's a 
good comfortable fit so I'm just going to bend that that way bend that that way so I know that's the the bend I want then I'm going to get these two and I'm going to give them a twist I've done it twice and then I can take this back off because I know now where it's got to be I'm just going to reinforce that with the pliers so the back settles as well right now I know um you can make a rose and I know by memory I'm going to mess it up so I just don't know whether to or not I think you have to bring one round like that and then I think you take that one over I don't even know if it's long enough it doesn't work I'll just unwind it take that one round I think I'm just making a right mess here but I'm not going to do that at all I'm going to look it up on a video and do a proper tutorial and use it so what happens see when it's after midnight it's not safe anything can happen right so I still want it there I still want that bend I'm just going to twist that round went so it's got a hold and then I think I'm just going to literally grab the end and just start bringing it in on a loop it's all I can think of to do but if you do go and look at the rows, the wire rows, there's loads on um, YouTube that show it. It will probably be really pretty and a lot better than this. But I've, I've just got to get this done now, so. Okay, so I've done that side. So that one's going that way, I'll have this one going the opposite way. just twisting it bring it round and because it's such a fine wire it's easy to manipulate it's not like the bigger wires so you can sort of just guide it where you want it to go I'm just going to tighten that a bit and just give it a little bit more of a twist and I was wondering whether to put um, any beads micro beads in seed beads uh, and probably if I'd have thought it all through that's probably a possibility of something that could have been done so it's just an idea if you do try it I mean don't expect a leather effect ring to last forever and, and don't wear it in the shower because I've made them before and if they get wet they don't hold but they're fun to make and as long as you're mindful when you wear them they should last a good while so now I'm just going to see if this fits does but the wire just needs a bit of stretching so that's how I've done the ring and the bracelet exactly the same I just finger brushed it with the copper on the front I literally varnished just the shiny bits and then these I didn't do it on camera because I've never done it before so I thought you know I want to get the hang of it first so anyway you get I don't know what they're called either some of you may know all about them but basically what you do is you make a hole in the leather and about two mil that was push that through screw it on the other side and you've got that piece done and then on this side I literally cut out a, a, a cross and then had to make a hole in the middle and then all of a sudden it was fine and it fitted so that's the bracelet and this is the ring would you get off it's come in. Hang on. There. Right. So there's your bracelet. And there's your ring. Okay. So just a bit of fun really. But they are pretty. Okay. So thank you for watching. I better put them so you can see them, haven't I? Yeah. It's better. Thanks for watching.